this is amazing, by the way. This, I, mm. I think, is, I love this as a data scientist. I love this more than, this is like my favorite <laughs> new nonsense feature. Um, because first, if you know literally nothing about NFTs, I'm going to pretend like I own a doodle. Um, I remember when they were at one ETH and I was debating with my neighbor if I should buy one. He said no. And I still talk to him, which is crazy. <laughs> I shouldn't. Um, this is a beautiful feature because one, if you don't know anything about NFTs, you can easily figure out what is the most undervalued one just from the screen right here. So do you want to talk a little bit about like kind of what these yeah. metrics mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, so first of all, I mean, you always have to put a bit of a disclaimer on a feature like this because typically we only show straight facts in Nelson and this, you know, these are predictions or estimates. So in, it's a bit of a paradigm shift in that sense um, where, you know, we have a machine learning model which has been trained on historical data, both looking at, um, I mean, the transaction data as well as the traits of the different NFTs. And then it learns what uh, should the price be for any specific NFT within a collection. So the model has been trained uh, sort of uh, on the individual collection. So one model per collection, let's say. And so that means it can spit out a prediction on what it thinks the price should be. So the top one you have here, it says that it thinks that should be 19 ETH, but it's currently listed at 17 ETH. And it's been on sale since one hour. So it was actually quite recently listed, which means, you know, if someone's in the market for a doodle, maybe that's one to check out, right? This is the one. We're going to go buy it right now. <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, of, yeah, what was interesting when I was like first looking at this was um, some of the doodles were, I think I was looking at this like last week and, you know, there was like some that were 20% um, like what you could call on sale. But then when mm -hmm. you looked at like penguins, um, they were actually all, the model was predicting them to all to be more expensive than they actually were. So, mm -hmm. and I know we have, a, I know a pengu shirt right here. Um, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see here, which is interesting, that you only have four NFTs that are that the model thinks are a good value versus you know doodles, which you which you have you know a lot more of. Kind of yeah. tells you here that this you know. Then it's a Viking penguin. Isn't that a Viking penguin? The, the 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 biggest bargain, man. Very tempted to scoop that one. Wow. So. <laughs> The machine learning model is, and I did not, <laughs> this is not me fudging the model, right? Right. The, the feature uh, that the most important is hat. Is like yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And so this, here we go, like, uh, or maybe change. Well, I think that estimated price might need to reload. I'm not sure, actually. Um, I don't know it's back down. That's weird. That seems like a kind of a, oh, okay. Here you see the estimated price history. And there was a bump. Maybe someone bought, I don't know, some like, viking hat or something and then that made the model think hey viking hats are um are more valuable than the floor because the green is the floor and the blue is this individual nft so somehow can I actually scroll up a little bit and just look at the estimated yeah actually viking helmet is like the main mm. the most impactful trade i just happen to have one here and uh um, yeah. So, so anyway, I, I think if we go back, it's interesting. I wonder if it just cached the result from like yesterday and this one needs to be refreshed. Oh, there we go. Oh, that. Then it refreshed. That's why. Okay. That's a little bit confusing, but okay. It uh, had a cached result and now this guy is the mo most underpriced, 194. That feels like it's, it might be close to the floor for Pangos. I'm not sure. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still, even now, even with our updated results, there's even less of so yeah. now our model thinks that's almost right. all of them are overvalued. <clears throat> yeah. Ooh, that's not a that's not a bad sign. That's not a good good sign. So Christmas lights is the thing that's pumping up this, or at least not pumping up, but is indicating the price. But this one looks maybe not so rare. Um so this, yeah, but you know, this is just kind of one more data point that you can use when you want to actually select an, a specific NFT, which has been 
let's say historically, you know, difficult because you have to look at the trades. Of course, you have to make up your own opinion of what you like. But this can be a good uh, starting point to surface the signal, which is what we try to do uh, within a collection and find the ones that might be, you know, uh, underpriced uh, at the moment. Yeah, ex yes. and yeah, especially if you're going to make a big purchase like this, like you want to make sure you're getting it right. 